Hey everybody, Liam Clisham here, and this is just going to be short. Uh, I know I've been away for a while, had a lot of work going on, so it's been a little bit before I made a tutorial, but this is going to be short and sweet of how you can control your normals with just a transform SOP. And I don't know why I've never thought of this before. I, I, it just blew my mind. So. Uh, as you can see, I'm using mops to copy some leaves up here and want to add some randomization and orient them a little bit better. And so what I've done is if we look at this spiral from labs, I'm just carving it down and then I'm coming in here and adding normals, which got turned on here. And at first, before I added in the transform, I was like, all right, I'll just randomize it a bit. So there we go, randomizing normals. And then this is just setting the up vector here. So then when I come over to mops, I'm like, uh, that's not exactly what I want. And I was kind of trying to figure out how to manipulate it a little bit better and writing some vex and controlling it that way. It's like, there's, there's gotta be an easier way to do all this. So what I found out is uh, just, I've never looked here or paid attention to it. I've always just thought of transform moves an object around, not it can manipulate other attributes. It's like, ah, maybe I can manipulate up. And first I try it with up and I was like, ah, eh, that's not really giving me my results. Okay, orient, try that. And it's like, eh, really not working. It's like, all right, let's go back to basics and try and manipulate normal. So put in N and look at this. You can now, if I come in here, this is the original normals. This is them being manipulated. Can transform them wherever you want. It's freaking amazing. So add that into here. I'm just multiplying it and take a look at this. I'm like, okay, they're all pointing up. Let's see what we can do about fixing that and art directing this a little bit more. I kind of want them like this. And maybe they rotate a little bit more like this. It, it's amazing. Such a simple little thing to control normals that I, I've never, never experienced before and never thought to do. So I hope this helps some people out there. I know it's a short little tutorial and nothing special compared to longer tutorials I put out before. Uh, but hey, hope everyone's doing well and hopefully I'll have some more stuff for y'all in the future. All right, thanks.